20 days ago. 18 ordinary Australians. Who are these people? What do we know? They're in the city now. Bravo team, stand by. We are two zero minutes from target. Chief, Fed Square, here we go. Went on the run. Relentlessly pursued by an elite team of hunters. I will throw 100% of our resources to make sure that these people don't make it to extraction day. They're here. They're here. One by one. The fugitive is on foot. Go, go. Go, go. The fugitives were trapped. What? Go on the run. Yeah. You've been hunted down. Yep, come here, Louis. We have two fugitives in our custody. Your time on the run is over. And captured. Matt, you've been hunted down. Now, just three remain. We are the best hunter team in the world. I want those last three. Decoy and deception artist Starthy. This time tomorrow, my life could be completely different. Master of disguise, Rob. Being able to cover this up could be the difference between me making it to the end or not. And skilled police officer, Jake. Evading the hunters means everything. My reputation as a police officer is on the line here. Your current location has now been disclosed to the hunters. And speed and intelligence, quickly, quickly, quickly. If they make it to the extraction point... We have a limited number of hours, I want a clean sweep. They'll earn a share of $100,000. The paranoia is next level. The hunters are everywhere, and that terrifies me. The day of reckoning has arrived. You need to stop! I think the sweetest capture is going to be right before extraction. For the hunters. That's bravo. We are one minute out. And the hunted. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. We could come to the operations table. We came here less than three weeks ago, all strangers to each other, and never in my career have I had an opportunity to lead such an eclectic bunch of experts. We are the best hunter team in the world. We've been able to take out 15 fugitives. There's only three left. Stathy, Jacob, Robert. I want those last three. An updated picture of Jacob and Robert. Jacob has lost the moustache. Robert's a little bit heavier than we probably first thought. And the ground hunter's looking at some of the previous contacts. Jacob and Robert don't know we've got the burner phone ending in 602. That phone we found was actually in contact with very close associate Cordelia. It's also known as Cordy. We now have her current number. A full intercept phone calls in and out, text messages in and out. We're leaving Cordy alone deliberately in the hope that she may come back into play in the investigation. We want to know exactly where they're going to be and we want to be 100% certain they're inside an address before we knock. Being a police officer chasing another police officer, I've got no doubt that I'm going to cop a fair bit of grief if I don't get to my nemesis, Jacob. This is so close to the end of extraction. We've had a really good capture with uh, Matthew. Fantastic result, but we need to hone in on Staffy. The big question mark is, would Staffy stay there in Dalesford at the Chill Out Festival? There's been a few events on, but actually today is when it starts to really kick off. With the festival parade in full swing, Reese has ground hunter teams Alpha and Charlie covering as much ground as possible. So Charlie, this is headquarters over. Uh, we have spread out around the, around the parade looking for any sign of Staffy or associates of Staffy. Yeah, roger that. That's a good copy. Yeah, guys, I've just spotted Dean. He's right out the front of the parade. It was a failed meet-up with Dean that led to Matt's capture yesterday, 
But the hunters believe Starthy may continue to evade capture by hiding in plain sight. There's not too many in full drag, so if he's dressed up, he'll stand out. We've got good coverage. We've got people on each side, mate. Michelle's staying off Dean at the moment in case he doesn't meet. Yeah, roger that, mate. All right. This is Charlie, too. Uh, there is a person with a strong orange beard with an orange umbrella in orange shorts and wearing a mask coming up towards the centre of the parade heading uphill. I'll be coming from the southern roundabout of that location. Is the umbrella up or down, mate? Directly above his head, he's in the parade, over. Charlie 2, it's my assessment that that is, is not Stathy. I say again, not Stathy, over. Yeah, we see that, mate. Cheers. After witnessing Matt being chased by the hunters yesterday, Starthy is laying low at a stranger's house. I'm devastated, broken, bagless, I'm friendless, I'm alone and on the run. Oh, hello, puppy. Adam, who's given me accommodation last night, has organised a lift for me. Gonna get as far away as possible from Dalesford. Head more central into familiar territory, hoping the extraction point is nearby. Every time I close my eyes, I just see Maddie running and feel sick because I ran. The dream of being a dad is so close now, and I've got to keep that in mind. I was always doing this for myself, for my family, for the future family, for my community, but. Now i just got to think that I'm also doing it for Matt. Win the prize money for the both of us, 50-50 all the way. Yeah, headquarters, it's Charlie. Certainly didn't pick up anything that was actionable. The parade now has ceased. We've exhausted all avenues this end. Yeah, roger that. Consolidate back to vehicle and then we'll retask over. With extraction just 26 hours away and no immediate leads on the three fugitives, the hunter's attention turns to where to position themselves for the final push. We know that the fugitives will be alerted to a point of interest that they've got to get to for an extraction. How they get there is up to them. Do they use someone that they trust? Do they use a member of the public, which they don't trust and might not get them there, but don't leave a trace? We don't know. We desperately need to catch them before they get to an extraction point, because if we don't, it's game over and they get through. To improve their odds against the hunters, Rob and Jake split up yesterday. Jake found accommodation half an hour west of Melbourne's CBD, with the plan to reunite with Rob at the still unknown extraction point. Splitting up, it, it makes me nervous, but the hunters are coming hard and it's probably going to increase our chances of being around at the very end. I just want everything to go right and I want us to be able to cross the line together. Prior to going on the run, each fugitive was given a phone number with a date and time to call and receive the extraction location and time of departure. Yeah, so I think my plan is to head to a payphone, call the number, get the information. I think I've got a pen in my bag, write it down and um, get out. Try to get someone to give me a rug. Once the call is made... Cool. The fugitive's location will be revealed to the hunters. And the 24-hour countdown to extraction and a share of the $100,000 prize money begins. First stop, we recruit a stranger to help us out with a ride to the phone box. Coming down to the, the last day, the money would be great, but really the achievement of evading the hunters for 21 days means everything, so I don't think they're home. Strike one. As a cop, I'm usually the one doing the chasing. So to be on the other side of it and to experience what it would be like, anxiety and stress. It's a learning event for me. Why is no one home? My reputation as a police officer is on the line here. I want to prove that I am 
smarter than the everyday criminal, really. Oh, kind of want to ask the guy that almost ran me over. Um, so I'm a fugitive on the run, and I'm just looking for a little bit of help. I need a ride, you know. I'd... Awesome. I don't look it because I don't have extreme highs, extreme lows, but I'm thrilled. After spending the night on the opposite side of Melbourne from Jake, this is it. Rob has a different plan to make the call for extraction. I've got a phone on me. I could make the phone call off that, ditch the phone. The main thing is if I secure a ride and get out of there. Need to go in full disguise again. Hey, I'm pulling out all the stops, make sure that I don't get caught, because I'm putting myself in the firing line today. You know, when I came into this, I, I had a lot to prove. Being a male hairdresser, you kind of get put in this box of, this is all you can do. But um, I want to utilise my skill in special effects and makeup and hair. Prove to everyone what I'm capable of. Throughout my life, people will shoot me down based on either what I do for work, on my size. You know, like, you think you're going to be able to run away from them? Like, all that. I heard it all. The uh, makes me want to go hard and prove them wrong even more. Heading down to the cafe, get some help. I'm hoping that my disguise works enough. Today is definitely the hardest day that I will have in the entire run. Alpha, I need you to move to South Yarra. Do it. Bravo. The Brunswick Essendon area. Unaware of the extraction point, the chief has decided to deploy all ground hunters to the CBD as they wait to get information on the fugitive's whereabouts. And Starthy, now hiding out with a contact in South Yarra, is the closest to a ground hunter team. It's keeping our eye out for any public phone boxes. What I need to find now for the taxi to take me to is a point that is accessible to the entire state, essentially. I'm going to order a cab online and then delete browser history and use John's phone to find out the extraction point. She just gave us a blood nose. There's the stress. My heart's racing. Hunters are at their most powerful point right now. You don't want to miss that last step. If I miss that last step, everything we've done the last 20 days would be for nothing. Today, Stathy, Jacob and Robert are going to learn the extraction point. We will identify where they are at that time and that's when we're going to pounce. I've got helicopter on standby right now. Uh, we've got ground hunter teams, we've got drones, we've got dogs, we've got social media, we've got a poster campaign. They're going to feel extremely exposed. They're going to be out there, tired, we're not. They're going to be paranoid, we're not. They're going to be undisciplined, we're not. Everything is in our favour to track them down. Let's go for it. Let's get them. They're going to know I'm here, so I can see cameras everywhere. I got Vic has to park far enough away that the CCTV won't get his number plate. The extraction is scheduled for tomorrow at 1pm. The location is Inverloch Coastal Reserve. Your current location has now been disclosed the hunters. Uh, 1 p.m. Inverloch Coastal Reserve. Chief, 
One of the fugitives has accessed the extraction details, used a payphone at 50 Strawton Street, Melton South. Closest team to there to respond. Delta. Milton South. Milton South. Let's get him. <sighs> Where's Inverloch? <laughs> Inverloch is the countryside. <laughs> countryside, of course it is. Your current location has now been disclosed to the hunters. Chief? Yep? A fugitive has accessed the extraction details using a smartphone, South Yarra. Fantastic. We already have ground hunter team Alpha in that area. Alpha, Alpha, this is headquarters over. There you go. We have an identified ping. The address is South Yarra. Yeah, roger that, mate. We are four minutes out. Thank you. Thank you so much, John. Please, let's go. We know it was a smartphone, we know it was in that location. What else do we know? It looks like uh, apartments. So, Cyber, I need you to be chasing up CCTV cameras from those two locations, South Yarra, and 50 Staunton, Belton South. It's right next to the station, right next to Melton Station. This is what we wanted, folks. This is what we wanted. Your current location has now been disclosed to the hunters. Uh, Chief, there's another ping. A fugitive has accessed the extraction details using a burner phone located at 80 Melling Road, Canterbury. Oh, they haven't split, have they? Don't tell me they split. That means less resources for us. Mega frustrating. It is really, really frustrating. They're going to be a lot harder to catch. Jake and Robert, they've split up. We are now looking for three individual packets three individual fugitives. After 20 days on the run, three remaining fugitives have made the call for extraction details. Please, let's go. Interlock Coastal Reserve revealing their exact location to the hunters. Cool. But not who made each call or where they're headed. A fugitive has accessed the extraction details using a burner phone located at 80 Melling Road, Canterbury. I think it's a gift shop. There's a whole bunch of shops along that street. OK, can we get CCTV requests into that immediate location? Any businesses? We are now looking for three individual fugitives. Jacob and Robert have now separated. So now we're looking at three lots of fugitives. It makes it more complicated, more targets to track down, means less resources. However, we know we're close to the fugitives. The hunt is on right now. Chief, just having a look at previous addresses we've been to, one of the known addresses we were looking at for Stathy is in close proximity where the uh, phone call was made. Copy that. We went speed and intelligence. Quickly, quickly, quickly. The fugitives have a head start on the ground hunters. However, Team Alpha are only two minutes away from where Stathy made his call. It is likely that that person of interest is possibly Stathy. Copy that. We're off now. just made the most important phone call. This call is everything. I've got the actual extraction point. John helped me booking this taxi. And I'm heading south. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Have you noticed a gentleman with dark reddish hair and a red beard? Yes. Ah, yes, Jace, Jace! Where is he now? I booked a cab for him. I booked it through, was it 13 cab? Yes, Yeah, mate, we've located a male who has harboured the Stathy. He departed in for taxi. Over. 
Roger that. Yeah. Anything else that you can tell me where he's going? Uh, no, I'm sorry. I have no idea. Starthy is headed for the extraction point of Imberlock, a small tourist town on the Gippsland coastline. It's a two-hour drive southeast of Melbourne, and Starthy is planning to stay overnight in the area. It's not going to be yeah, a, a cheap taxi trip, but right now the priority is getting there. For this one, you need to pay me a little bit more job. Yeah, hopefully I have enough cash on me. It's possible that a taxi can get tracked, but I just hope I'm far enough ahead of the hunters. Somewhere in the area, there will be a CCTV camera that captured that taxi. I need CCTV, come on. The fugitives know the extraction point, and we don't. So we're going to throw everything we've got, every little bit of electronic and physical capability that we have going out wider and wider with our CCTV, take them out of the hunt before they get to the extraction point. While the Intel team puts in requests for CCTV near Starthy's last known location, a lead for another known ping location has come through. Chief, I've just received CCTV camera footage from Melton Station. Yep, got it up. That one running now at the front will be Jacob. If Stathy's positively identified at the South Yarra address, that can only be Jacob. Yeah. That can't be Robert. Too, too lean. Where are they running to? After fleeing to Melton train station, Jake is being driven east by Vickers, a stranger he has now befriended. I reckon experience of being at work is actually helping you a lot because you're thinking that way. I, I sort of have to know how they're thinking, but then act in a different way to what they think I'd do, because otherwise I'd become too predictable. With the extraction point a two-hour drive south, Jake is looking to a known associate to take him the rest of the way. I don't like my chances with strangers taking me all that way. And the hunters can press into all those people and try to get some information out of them. You've got to go to the people you trust when you need this kind of help, like big help. And I'm just hoping the hunters are not going to be there. Going off to Cordy and Lockie's. Last time I spoke to them, they hadn't heard from the hunters, so hopefully that's still the case and it might be a safe spot to lay low for the last night. After using his burner phone to access the extraction details, Rob has secured a lift out of the inner city suburb of Canterbury with two strangers. There is no audio recording of the call, but I do have the burner phone. 602 number. 602 number, Simph has come to life. That's the phone Jake or Robert has. We've got a full intercept on that number. Can we start tracking, please? I've managed to make the phone call. I've dumped the phone inside the bin, so they would have to spend a bit of time trying to get it in. We have Bravo moving to that location. Moving there now. My game plan's feeling like I need to get a little bit closer to the envelope coastal with them, so I've got to figure out how I'm going to get out there. We can take you wherever. So you yeah. want us to take you out that way? Yeah. If I can get the lift out yeah. there, yeah. like, honestly, that would be amazing. Working through strangers, like I said, is from the beginning has been, like, the best part of our game plan. Because um, there's no connection in that respect. CCTV, all of that sort of stuff, that's where it becomes quite difficult. Chief, we've just received CCTV out the front of House of Emerson in Canterbury. Big screen. But no sign of Robert. Well, unless... What, that woman? You reckon that's Robert? Uh, actually... Is everyone confident this is Rob, yeah? Could be. Tattoo on his leg. Yeah. Looks to me like that's Robert. Yeah. Dressed up in a, in a wig. That phone, I'm hoping, is a 602 phone. There's another clip there. OK, here we go. All right, OK, so Robert's clearly ditched the phone. It's been a decoy. 
Robert dumps the phone, but then walks back towards the direction of the car. Mm. We need to try and identify that car and who they are. You can't make out the number plate because of the glare from the sun. Can we get the footage enhanced? Rob's getaway car is unable to be immediately tracked, so the hunters turn to an older line of inquiry. Robert's dumped this 602 phone. Robert has no longer a way of communicating with Cordy. Maybe some eyes on Cordy's address. Cordelia does live eight minutes from that address, from the ping. Just wonder whether Cordy's going to come in or not. While Rob's last known location has the hunters thinking he may shelter at Cordy's house, it's actually Jake who is planning on spending the night there. Guess so. How are you? Have the come to see you yet? I'm so glad they haven't come. One advantage I think we still have is we haven't potentially burned ourselves in relation to Cordy. Knowing that Cordy's a close associate of Jake and Robert, we did not visit her in the hope that she would come back into play for us towards the end. I'm hoping they still know nothing about you guys. Yeah, no, no, I'm surprised. Yeah. We're going to go to uh, Cordy. Cordy's. Yes. Cordy's nearby where this last pin came from. I think the most sweetest capture is going to be right before extraction. Person of interest, uh, Cordy. Do a soft knock on that residence. Right, Jack. Seeing it in their eyes that they're about to get away. They're about to extract, and we take them out at that critical moment. I don't think anything's going to be sweeter. Let's just cover the back, cover the front. Police officer Jake has arrived at friend Cordy's house, seeking a safe place to sleep and a lift to the extraction point tomorrow. I'm hoping they still know nothing about you guys. Yeah, no, no, I'm surprised. Yeah. Little does Jake know, ground hunters are on approach to the unit in search of his teammate Rob. So this is kind of Rob and Jake. Who's that? Do you want me to stand off? Or no, do you want I think me to go, go in. in. Yeah, go in there and shake a tree. I don't even know how many houses we've stayed in. We're just strangers to everyone. Mate, the gates are locked. We're going over. <coughs> Quick. Blocking the stairway at the moment. Who is it? Here. Oh, this is a you mind if I just get out the back? 
There is no access to the rear of that property. Where's he gone? Boy. Oh, I just saw his wet footprints. He's gone over the back fence. He's gone over the back fence. Keep on him, Ivis. Get on it, get on it. Oh my god, this is stressful. Where are you, Robert? Hunt him down, Ivis. Come on, come on. <laughs> Possible laneway at the back, Michelle. Yep, I'm running out the front. Go, Michelle. Come on. Where are you, Rob? Give yourself up, mate. Ibis, if you want to push to the back, he's probably pushed out into the tree line. Probably a bit of cover over. Well, you might I'll just shoot across here now on foot, mate. I'm at the front. Copy, hold that. Just hold there, though, Michelle. Keep eyes on there. Got lots of places to be able to hide, mate, in the bushes and stuff. Nothing yet. Still no movement out the front. Good copy, Michelle. Just bear in mind, we could be dealing with Jacob, because I can't see Robert getting over any of these fences that well. I can see some fresh footprints here in the ground. Michelle, we may have um, some shoe impressions leading into the back. Copy that. Alpha Tudor Ibis. I think he's down near a park. I've got to get out of here. Yeah, Reese, I think he might have shot through, mate, to the other side. I'm just going to go around the back. I'll try and intercept him around the other side. Yeah, Roger. Alpha, Alpha. Yep. Michelle, if you want to push to the back. The fugitive is on foot. Run it down. Come, Michelle. Come on, Michelle. Come, Michelle. Come on. Coming up no. to the park now. Up no. to the park now. We got him. There he is. There he is. Go, stop. Who is it? That's Jacob. That's Jacob. There he is. I'm going back. Stop where you are, Jake. Don't jump the fence. Go, collect yourself. Come on. Don't let him get away. Go. You got to stop, Jake. Keep your adrenaline pumping with unseen moments and interviews at tenplay.com.au slash hunted or on the Ten Play app. The fugitive may have gone over the back of the garden fence. Coming up to the park now. Up to the park now. We got him, there he is. That's Jacob. That's Jacob. Jake! You gotta stop, Jake! I'm going back. Game's up, buddy! Come on, get him, mate, get him! Go, 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 Mate. Bad luck. Hey, Jacob, you must be off your chops if you thought you were going to beat us. <laughs> uh, I've got someone who wants to talk to you. Thanks. I don't know who I'm speaking to. Yeah, I'm Graham, mate. I've been tracking you now for quite a while. I feel like I know you. A brother in blue, I was disappointed to see you go on the other side, so I had to take you out, mate. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. You still got to catch Rob. Where is he, though? Well, I don't know, mate. We've been split up. When did you split up with him? Can't remember. It's been a long run. <laughs> no, we'll get him soon, mate. No, safe trip back to WA, eh? Thanks, mate. Thank you. Yeah, I'm like a Cheshire cat. This is uh, the best day so far of the hunt for me. The whole HQ team knew how much this meant to me. Uh, it become personal to a degree, so to get that capture in the bag, certainly very, very nice to taste. You'd empty your pockets out for us, mate, if that's all right. You know the drill. Sure do. The most thrilling thing about being on the run as a cop I got to see what life is like with the shoe on the other foot. Where's your cuffs? 
Not quite that bad. There is a lot of things that I can be proud about, but to be so close and, and not quite make it, uh, it hurts. The goal was always to be there together at the end with my best mate. I would be extremely proud of Rob if he wins. I hope he does. I know how much this means to him. Being as creative as he is, as good a talker as he is, got a massive opportunity to win. So even if we like dropped out like maybe a township before envelope. After getting a lift from where he made the extraction call in Canterbury. Oh. Rob is being dropped off in the small inland town of Locke. Oh my gosh, this is so real. 30 minutes from the extraction point. Hoping to convince locals to help him while still in disguise. You wouldn't know of any accommodation around here at all. And going from shop to shop. Really? He's managed to charm his way into a B&B for the night. This is the best situation I could be in. Um, yeah, I've just got to try and find a ride out to Inverloch. Well, I'll be back here tomorrow. If you're available. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you. Resourceful. I'm feeling quite safe at the moment. Well, as safe as you can be. What's worrying me at the moment is Jake, like, making sure he's OK. I don't know what's going on with him. We made it all the way to day 20. I want to see my mate there tomorrow. I started this with my mate. So I want to finish with my mate. Stakes are a lot higher now that I'm close to extraction. It just takes one mistake to get you caught. OK, guys, Stathy, we know that he used a taxi. If we can identify that taxi, we can track it and we can take him out before he gets to the extraction point. After Stathy made his call for extraction details in South Yarra... Oh, Chief? Yep. HQ's hunt for CCTV in the area has finally paid off. We have the number plate and taxi number. So we need to get onto the taxi company, find out the taxi trip log, where that cab's heading. That starts to really push this. We could actually be onto him here. Thank you. So I just spent $276 down to my last $4, dropped off about five kilometres from a town which is about 10 kilometres from the extraction point. OK, we have an exact location where Staffy was dropped off. Kate Patterson. Kate Patterson. We're right back down there again. Plenty of areas for extraction. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Extraction could be by water, it could be by train, it could be by air. We don't know what that looks like. And there's a whole bunch of uh, waterborne extraction areas. Yeah. Obviously, if we can identify where the extraction point is, we can vector all our resources, our hunter teams and all our assets. Alpha Charlie, this is headquarters. Got a positive identification of Stathy, that location in Cape Patterson. Need to start moving down to that area. Yeah, right, mate, on the move. Get a bit of eyes on the ground, see what we can find. Got to be in a park somewhere in Kim or a hotel, one or the other. I'm kind of over there going to stop there and sleep or I look stay. to stay overnight. I literally have nothing but my backpack, so... My sister's oh. staying there tonight. She'll probably let you sleep in the backyard or if, in the bungalow. Are you sure? Amazing. Unaware the hunters traced his taxi route to Cape Patterson, Starthy is looking for a place to stay. Can't stop thinking about what the next few hours are going to look like. 
the thought that this time tomorrow, my life could be completely different. Hi. I'm going to be going to bed tonight, and the first thought will be family. <laughs> Hello. I <laughs> miss him like hell, and if I win this thing, I could potentially start my own family. But I think the hunters are everywhere. And that terrifies me. Headquarters, this is Charlie. The rival to Pete Patterson. Yep, Roger. Keep eyes peeled. Charlie, good copy. Happy hunting. Hope I make it. There is no other option. If you are keen to be on Hunted Season 2, register your interest at 10play.com.au forward slash casting. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. The operations table, the final and possibly the most crucial one we'll ever have. So it's come down to this. We had 18 fugitives, we're down to two. These two guys have outsmarted us for the last few weeks. They have pulled out every trick they know, and so far they're winning. We don't want it to continue that way. We've got the ground hunters looking for Staffy in the Cape Patterson area. We know Robert is headed down there in a very similar direction. Go for the throat until the whistle blows. End of story. Let's fire it up. Let's get this done. The fugitives know the extraction point is Inverloch Coastal Reserve at 1pm. Rob is 37 kilometres north in Loch. Staffy is 12 kilometres southwest in Cape Patterson. Day 21, current mood is uh, excitement, nervousness. There's a lot on the line. There's just. No other option but success right now. I can't, can't let any other thought in my mind. There's too much at risk. Ruby's given me a lift and dropped me off about three kilometers outside of town so I can start my trek in. Every scenario right now is going through my head. What happens if I see a hunter down there? Where do I run? How do I run? Where do I ditch the backpack? What do I have on me that I need? The coastal walk definitely has less people around than the main road, so that's good for visibility and can't be seen from here on the main road. We also have a lot of bushland. It gives coverage from possible drones and choppers in the sky. If I was a hunter, I'd be exploring every possible option. Starthy has to time his approach to the extraction point perfectly. Too early, and he could be vulnerable to hunters. Wait too long, and he could miss the extraction. So if shit hits the fan and it's getting close to extraction. I oh, know I can run. <sighs> Rob is holding off as long as possible before making his dash to the finish line. Paranoid about being seen in public. My game does hinge on getting to extraction and not be recognisable, so I'm going to cover my tattoos had before people have said I'm a moving target, quite a noticeable person. So being able to cover this up could be the difference between me making it to the end or not. So Ian's just arrived. We'll be heading off very soon. <sighs> Feeling the adrenaline like this is it's game time. I've spent months before going on the run, planning to get to this point. I can't mess up. They're gonna leave pretty soon, Nick. Since the Chief put out a billboard campaign, HQ has received many calls about the fugitives. While most have been unhelpful... No, they're not. ..they have finally received a solid lead. Chief? Yep. We've just received some intel. It's a sighting of Robert in lock. Chief, you can see Cape Patterson's right down there on the southern point, yeah. and then Inverloch just to the east. Reference-wise, lock is directly up from Inverloch. Inverloch's a lot more of a um, beach 
a touristy type place. Yep. You've got multiple ways to get out from there. Okay, Brown Hunters traversing there as quickly as possible. Hey, Chief, I think we might need to get Bravo into the chopper. Absolutely. Let's fire up the chopper. With extraction one hour away and Inverloch a 52 minute flight from Moorabbin, Team Bravo will be hot on the heels of Rob and Staffy. En route, keep their eyes peeled for possible other airframes and vessels. The remaining ground hunters continue the search in the surrounding area. Come on, girlies, where are you? I'm going to take a road in now, and I'm approaching the Surf Lifesaving Club, which is essentially the outskirt of Inverloch. And I don't feel confident navigating the coastal wall in the main town. Morning. How are you? Do you think it would be possible for the three of us to walk together so that I'm a little bit buried? Everything is at stake right now. It's not just all, all the sacrifice from the last 20 days, all the struggles and rough nights we had to endure. It's our future. One of the locals Staffy met on the beach has offered to be a lookout to warn him of any suspicious people or vehicles. I literally can't explain how valuable her help is right now. To have eyes 100 metres ahead of you, in invisible eyes, because there's no way of linking that to me. But he'll need to cover a lot of ground to make it in time. Rob is getting a lift from B&B owner Ian directly to the foreshore. There's no black car behind us. No, nothing behind us. We're aiming towards Inverloch as a pickup, I would expect. While HQ has identified the general area of extraction, they still do not know what the extraction vehicle will be. We've just got live air tracking, so as you can see, yep. so we're going to know if there's any aircraft that takes off. Obviously, rotary wing is probably one of the assets that they would use to, to extract. Obviously, it's a, it's a platform that can get into any area. You know, it can be a football field, it can be a stadium, it can be a helipad on the water. There's a helicopter, and that would be heading towards Inverloch. What is this? I'm not about to poke my head out. <laughs> oh, we have a new one. Bravo, bravo, this is headquarters. Be advised, there is another rotary wing asset switching around the Inverloch area. Get eyes on that chopper. Bravo, we have spotted that bird. Stand by for further updates. Bravo, it is likely that this is the extraction vehicle. Let's go, team. Now I want to get as close as we possibly can to the extraction point. Once the helicopter lands, the 10 minute countdown to extraction begins. Helo, red helo down. Centenary Park. All call signs converge to Rotary Centenary Park. Charlie, roger. Let's go, let's go. Bravo, we're not having to wish to land on the beach. However, you are cleared to land in nearby field. Roger, put it down here. Shoe on foot. You have a go, go, go. We have a 700 metre transit. That's cost in 30 seconds. Let's go hard, boys. Hey, we're going to come up here and go left. I feel like my brain's left my body right now. I just feel 
like I'm at that final leg of a marathon and just relying on every last bit of strength. Need to get to that extraction point now. There's minutes. In Foxhot 202, Foxhot 202. Let's go, Bravo. Righto, heading down the main strip. Charlie, ETA. Headquarters. We're possibly five minutes out from extraction point. Okay. Go to the beach. Head to the beach. There it is, right there. safely on the helicopter. Oh my God. While Starthy has only three minutes remaining to win a share of the $100,000 prize money. Right now there's possibly hunters that are scouting the area. At any moment now we've got to start this bolt. That's what I'm here for. Moving the base now, Rich. Bravo, good copy, moving best speed to the beach now. We've got less than two minutes. I might be a hunter, but I've just got to trust my legs. Run. Pick the bag. Hey, guys. Where's the beach from here? Go, 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 Alpha, ETA. Mate, we're one minute away. Go to the beach. Head to the beach. Alpha, receive. Uh, uh, oh, bravo's on it, team. Bravo's on it. They're at the beach. Uh, now you've got a sand run. One minute. Eyes on the chopper. Eyes on the chopper. Got him, mate. You got him, mate. Push, push. Oh, oh God. get within seconds 
of the clean sweep is just so disappointing. So disappointing. Yeah, all call signs. I can confirm it was not our day today. Let's not take that away from the efforts in the last 21 days. 16 fugitives in three weeks around Victoria. Fantastic effort. And I salute the two fugitives that made it. The effort you've put in over the last 21 days has been simply amazing. And thank you for chasing every rabbit down every hole. In the real world, you would have 150 people tasked to catch one fugitive, and it might take them multiple years. 16 in 21 days. It is enormous. Pinch me, pinch me, make sure I don't wake up. Kill me, kill me. <laughs> I would have loved to have had Jake at the end, but you know, I did it for both of us. 50-50 split with me and Jake. He worked just as hard as I did. Love you, Jake. Got you, brother. We got it. You know, I've learned so much about my capabilities. That heavy set boy won, and he beat you. I put a lot of time and effort into planning for this. The strategy for me was hiding in plain sight, not acting like a fugitive, decoying, dressing up. So many people said to me, oh, you can't even run from the hunters, let alone get away with them. It was important for me to be able to use my skill as a hairdresser to not only disguise us, but to feed us, to house us. To... Mate, all the amazing hospitable strangers, man, like people that have never known or met us were taking us into their house. This experience has opened my eyes, taught me so much about the community. It's taught me a lot about myself, my resilience. Not many people know how this feels. Oh, mate. The paranoia, mate, the stress, the, the anxiety, man. not mate. knowing who was on your back. Being on the run, it was exhausting. And when the physical exhaustion coupled with the mental exhaustion, there were so many moments where you question whether or not you can continue. But I had a strategy. I had worked in surveillance in the past and I wanted to use everything I'd learned. So well worth it. Uh, so this is going to change both our lives. A 50% split with my best friend Matt and I'm going to use this money to start my surrogacy journey. The ginger Greek gene continues. My message for the hunters is Mwah. better luck next time. <laughs>